guys. So today is Tuesday the 1st of October I think. And I officially start my first day of work which I'm both excited and really really nervous about just because I have my kid. And, and like I met them before. I know like I said in my earlier vlog when I went to go and see them and then they were so excited. And it's just that memory of them like when the head teacher said Oh hey guys, this is Amanda, she's going to be your new language assistant, like your new whatever director of English I think he said. And they were all like, yay! And I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are so adorable. So I am really, really excited to start with them and, and work with them. But I'm so nervous because I don't know what I'm doing because we have our orientation tomorrow and that's where they're going to be giving us all the instructions and what to do. So I don't really know why they've asked us all to start work today. Um, there are like one or two people who aren't starting until Thursday after the orientation just because they've been, you know, instructed and what to do. So I think today is more like an observation day more than anything. And just to see how the classroom works. So I am very, very nervous, but I'm trying to like, I'm going to try and stay cool and not let them smell my fear because Kids are good at that. Kids are known when you're scared. And I hate them for it. But I love them just because they smell so pretty. I've just had breakfast, so I'll be leaving in about 10 minutes. And yeah, I'm just really scared. But equally as excited. Equally as scared as I am excited. Yay. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a quick video. I know you can't really see me because like, I'm blurry. But um, the kids are out for lunch on their lunch break, so we're just, just gonna show you around the classroom a bit. This is the, the green board where like the, the green board, the chalkboard, and then look at this. They have like things like tidy your desk. Oh the kids coming back! I'm very happy to say my first day of work is officially over. I mean, no, I'm not happy because it's over. I'm happy because it went so well. The kids are absolutely amazing. They're so excited to have an English person in the classroom. It's, as weird as it sounds, I feel like they really, really like English. And then like I compare it to when I was at school at home and there wasn't that many people who were so enthusiastic about learning Spanish or French or German or anything like that that I learned. So um, yeah, it was really, really exciting. I started off the day doing um, arts and crafts class. So I've got like, I've got papers and like all the sheets that we use, I'll like show you all later. Yeah, so I was doing like an arts and crafts lesson teaching the kids like how to draw and how to color and things like that and it was just so funny because at the end of the lesson like you know there are, the kids were so so I don't know like maybe it's because I'm new and it's something new and they know that I'm from England but some of the boys kept coming up to me and saying do you like Manchester United and Real Madrid and like Chelsea and Arsenal and stuff like that and like you know I really don't care for them but I'm just gonna say yes I think they think that every English person has some kind of interest in football and I don't. So we like spent like 10 minutes at the end of the class when they were on break talking about football and I was just kind of like okay well at least they're speaking English to me which is good. And then like we had a break and I was sitting in the staff room with all the other teachers and we were all talking and trying to get to know each other and stuff but my lord that Andalusian accent is not something to be messed with. It's so difficult to like understand what they're saying not because I don't understand Spanish it's just because they have a completely different accent to me so it, it's kind of like a real shock to hear everyone speak Spanish that much and when they try and speak English it's it's like a broken English kind of thing because they're not as fluent and then like after the break I was teaching a science class and they had an exam and I'm just kind of thinking okay so my first day teaching I'm doing an exam, so it's not something that like you normally expect. I started off like really, really trying to help the kid. I mean, they were coming up to me and the other teacher in the class. They were like, can you help me, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, so I helped. And then like, because it's science, even though it's English, I still don't understand it. So I think they like caught on to the fact that I didn't understand and they just stopped coming to me. <laughs> Instead, they went to the other teacher because at least they knew that she knew like the curriculum and everything. But I've like, I've taken the exam sheets home as well so I can look at. Yeah, I, I think I might need to brush up on my science because it seems like during the week, like every day, 
I'm doing either an arts class or a science class because they've got like books and stuff to learn from so I'm just going to ask if I can take one of the like exercise books and then the activity books from home and then I can look through those and then like you know the next day I can be like yeah I know what I'm talking about and I can teach you it in English so yeah, I think that's going to be the hardest thing teaching science in English to Spanish kids who know hardly any science or English so that's definitely something to look forward to. My next day of work is Thursday. And I'm in all day, I'm in from nine till two. Um, with I think like an hour's break in between. I am extremely nervous, but I am excited as well. Yeah, like when I get home, when I get inside, I'll like show you all the sheets that we've been through and I'll like give a more in-depth explanation of how the day was. This is just like a quick run through. Cause now I'm gonna go and um, meet with one of my friends who's staying with me today because we've got our orientation tomorrow which is why I'm not working tomorrow so I'm working on Thursday so I'm gonna go meet with him now wherever he is and um, yeah I don't know we might go for shopping we're with another friend but she has to go to work because she's got Eden classes so I'm gonna go find out where they are and then see whatever happens next <laughs> stuff we worked on today first off like here is my timetable so like I get Mondays off so on Tuesdays I start at 10 50 and then at 11 45 like every day there's a break and then I've got science and science on Tuesdays with the year fours and then on Wednesdays there should be something here but they don't know yet what I'm gonna do so for now, I've just got science and then arts and crafts with year four and year three um, until two o'clock. On um, Thursdays and Fridays are my busiest days. I've got science, science, arts and crafts, break, and arts and crafts as well. That's, I don't know why I changed that. Um, and then on Fridays, I have arts and crafts with the year ones, which is going to be really difficult because I have to teach them in English too, and it's just like, Surely, like, year one, like, what is, it's like five, five-year-olds, four or five-year-olds, how are they going to speak English or understand me? The year fours today could barely understand me when I was saying, draw this picture. Um, anyways, then I've got science again with year fours, and then arts and crafts with year two and year three until two. So, that is my timetable. I'm pretty happy about it. There's only one thing. The only thing is, this Friday, I've asked to finish early, just because um, there's a trip. I know it sounds really, really bad. There's a trip to Cabo de Gata, which is organised by the university. So I've already paid for my ticket in that, and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot, like, I had to work on Friday. So I asked the guys who were organising it, and I was like, is there any way that I can come later? I was like, can I come with someone else afterwards? And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. There'll be um, some volunteers going. But the thing is, they leave at 10 o'clock, and that's when things start, so I don't want to miss too much. So I asked to have that last hour off. I thought like she was going to be like, oh, well, the race is already done. But she was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. You can just make up for it another time during the week. I was supposed to make up for it tomorrow and do an hour, uh, half an hour on Wednesday and half an hour on Thursday, like in my two gaps. But I can't on Wednesday because tomorrow I've got my orientation from nine till three, um, which is all day, obviously. So I can't do it then. But I think I'm just going to make up for it on Thursday. So then at least I'm still doing my 12 hours a week and then I get my last hour off. Yay! But that's not like, that's not every Friday, it's just for this week. Um, and I made that very clear to her. And then she explained, oh why, what is it you're doing? And she, I said, um, I'm going to Cabo de Gata. And she was like, oh you're going to love it, it's so good, the beaches, everything. And I was like, yeah, you get it, you get it. I like Spanish people. So yeah, that's my time table. I took like some souvenirs from the classroom. So this is what we did today in arts and crafts. It was like a copying thing. So they had to look at these pictures and then like copy it here. And then the same with this one. And then this last one, they just had to like fill it in and then uh, color it. I feel like it was so difficult to explain just because like, obviously they know the word for color. So when I said, you just have to color, they're like, oh, okay, color, color, color. And yeah, that was cool. And then afterwards it was just like, you have to draw the lines. I literally had to pick up someone's pencil and be like, yeah, you just draw along the line and the picture. And then someone in the class asked, teacher, teacher. He was like, teacher. I was like, yeah. And he was like, 
¿Qué significa picture? And I was like, oh, it's dibujo, like stuff like that. And it was just, it's just so cute. And the way they say teacher as well, it's like, I thought they'd say like senorita or, you know, something like that, but at least they know the word for teacher, which is really good. They know not to say um, miss or whatever in Spanish. I think the thing is because it's a bilingual school, so that's probably why I'm teaching arts and sciences in English, because it is a bilingual school anyway. So that's really good. And then we also did science today. I don't know if you can see, but that was, <laughs> it was an exam I had to teach. So they had to like join all of these up in English. And then it got to a point as well where there was something, oh yeah, this one. This question here, they kept coming up to me because it says, explain what's the relationship between these words. And it has, um, it's got nutrients, energy, uh, so, so, I, don't, I don't even know what that means. And it's got material and oxygen. And when I saw that, I was just kind of like, um, dude, like, I don't even know the answer to that in English. I think I need to brush up on my science a little bit. I'm going to ask um, for the book to, like, take home with me so that I can study. Oh, yeah, I said that before, didn't I? But, yeah, so that was that. And, yeah, it's just, like... It was so cool because like most of the stuff was in English and like you had to explain some of it in English and there was one word, I think pharynx, um, that was spelt the English way. I think they had to translate it. Yeah. There, the pharynx. And then the teacher was like, um, Amanda, like pronounce that word. And I said pharynx and she was like, oh, okay. And they had to like fill in that whole like paragraph in English. And this is for like eight-year-olds. I was just a little bit in awe at how much they knew at, at such a young age. I think pharynx is similar in Spanish anyway, isn't it? So yeah, so that was really cool. So first aid done. Tomorrow I have orientation. I'm gonna see if I can take my, um, my, my, my camera there and try and like record a little bit and show you like what it, what it's all about. And then I have my second day of work on Thursday, which I'm really nervous about because it's all day. Today was just like, I don't know, like an hour, like an hour and a half that I was in, so yar. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So yeah, that was work. And I'm so happy with how it went. And well, it's about that time. I'm off to the beach.